what's the worst injury you've ever suffered in the ring? Uh, wow. Um, well, it's kind of like, uh, I, I guess like I've never broken a, like I've never broken a bone, you know, uh, or anything of that nature. I actually, um, I think, I think one time I did a spot where I, I had a guy in a turnbuckle and I said, I'm going to turnbuckle you and charge, you know, like I'm coming coming down with my shoulder into you and, and I just said you just and you get out of the way well what I normally would do is I would go all the way through and and take take the shot on my shoulder with the you know you know like the idea being he moved and now I hit my shoulder on the on the ring post and now I'm selling my arm yeah well I was just a little bit off and I went ding <laughs> and I got this tooth right here <laughs> did you break it out uh, well, yeah, I, I broke it in half. You know, oh God! I, I look like <laughs> look like bang for a while. Uh, but anyway, you know, but it, you know, for me and for most guys, this is not a single injury, but it's something that developed over time. You know, I wrestled. I physically wrestled. You know, for almost twenty years, and uh, and that's and when you understand the nature of wrestling. Uh, it's not like today. T today, all the talent wrestled maybe four days a week. Mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Friday night, SmackDown. Saturday, Sunday on the road. Uh, Monday night, Raw. And they go home. That wasn't the case when I was wrestling. It was every day. Every day. No, There were no days off. You know, you know what you your day off would be when you would you would get a, like a break, maybe you'd do a three three week tour, and then everybody goes home for a week. But you're not really going home for a week because the, your first day off, your first day off, you're spending half that day getting home. Mm -hmm. and then your last day off, you're spending half that day getting to the next town you're going to. My goodness. So yes, you're you're really only off five full days a month. That, that was it was brutal. Anyway, back back to the injury thing. Uh, I I started feeling this, you know, this pain, and it would gen, it was generating like it, you know, like down my shoulder and into the back of my arm, and I just couldn't figure out what it was. So when I went to the doctor, uh, they did a an MRI on my neck, and I had uh, herniated uh, the, the 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 C the discs this, between C five and C six. Okay. <laughs> they had to they had to take that out. And back then they replaced it with a, a with a, a chip from your from from your bone in in your uh, in your hip. And uh now they replace it with something else, but back then they still replaced it with a a, a chip from your hip. And um and and that was it, you know. And there are several guys I think I think Jake Jake's had this same thing done. Yes, but a lot of guys because that that's the thing is like the basic bump we take, and that's what the doctor told me. He says you you take you, your basic bump is from your feet to your back. Mm -hmm. You land flat. You you keep your head tucked so you don't knock yourself out. But all that weight is falling. The the most the, the majority of it is is, is because across the top of your shoulders and the back of your neck. And so night after night after night after night, you know, and then eventually it, it herniated that disc and uh, that rest is history. So.